hundreds of mourners line the streets to pay their respects to four children killed in an arson attack last year. Demi Pearson, 15, and her younger siblings Brandon, 8, Lacey, 7 and Leah, 3, were murdered when two men petrol bombed their home in Wagden, Greater Manchester. Mother Michelle Pearson, who survived the attack, is too ill to attend their funeral as she recovers from her injuries in hospital. A tribute written by her, however, has been read to the congregation. Describing the children as so close, she said, they were the twinkle in my eye, now they're angels in the sky. One day we will be reunited together forever. Michelle's tribute also mentioned each of her children in turn. Of Leah, three, she said, she is dead clever, big blue eyes and a smile that melted your heart. Of Lacey, who was seven when she was killed, she said, she loves to dance and sing. She would turn the TV on and just sing and dance along. It makes me smile just thinking about it. She described Brandon, eight, as a little architect in the making. He promised me he would build me a house. Paying tribute to 15-year-old Demi, Michelle said, We did a lot together. She was my best friend. All four youngsters died in the fire at their home on December 11th last year. Zach Bolland, 23, and David Warrell, 25, were both given four life sentences in May after being found guilty of four counts of murder at Manchester Crown Court. Bolland's girlfriend Courtney Brierley, 20, was found guilty of four counts of manslaughter and was sentenced to 21 years in a young offender's institution. Michelle only learned her children had been killed when she woke up from a coma four months after the attack. Horse-drawn carriages carried the specially made coffins in a procession from their home at 10 a.m. this morning before the service at 11 a.m., a minute's silence was held at Bridgewater Primary School, where Lacey and Brandon were pupils.